it's like magic to some people, right? Like you watch like a magic trick, you don't know how it's done, but to the magician, it's easier, you know? Most interesting way somebody has called you out for cheating. Oh man, there was one. Oh my God. So when I was doing one video, this is, this is a pretty common, this is a pretty funny one. I would do this to like try to me memorize the photo, like just look down and like, just like really try to visualize the image. Yeah, picture it in your mind. Like picture right. in my mind um, because it, I only saw it for 0 0.1 second. And people were like, oh, he's looking at a tablet on his lap. He, he has a phone t reading off what country he's in. I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to visualize the image. Like, And so like the next one, I made sure I looked up and like closed my eyes rather than looking down because like so many people were like, he's looking at his phone on his tablet. Um, I, think it, I think what's really a, a funny one too is people assume I memorized every single image which I think is 10,000 times more impressive than what I'm actually doing. I have no idea how you can even do this. Like you just get some random picture anywhere in the world, but how do you even figure this out? Yeah, it's a lot of studying and playing a lot. Um, so basically anything from using bollards on the side of the street, learning different telephone poles in different countries, language, what side of the road people drive on, what road lines countries use. Every country has different road lines. Some use double white, some use double yellow, some use white dashed some don't use white dashed some have triple yellow it's like a whole thing of like learning street lines road conditions um what type of like road types vegetation all that everything what geographic feature would help you the most like do you want a river an ocean mountains trees are helpful um because there are trees that are different distinct distinctual like there's different trees in different regions that are only like there's a tree called piranha pine where it's like only in one specific region of Brazil in the south. Where if you see that, you're like, oh, this is immediately. I know we are. Um, I would say soil color is really, really helpful. Um, so if you have like red soil, it's like Cambodia, Brazil, white soil, it could be in like Nigeria, um, things like that. So I would say the top three for me would be soil color, trees, and just having an ocean is obviously pretty helpful because you can just see, you, get, you have a compass to where you can see. Having an ocean is, is helpful on identifying where you are in the country less of like what country you're in. So if you have an, if you have, if you know you're in Indonesia and you have a country to your West, that might be more helpful than if you're in the middle of nowhere and like mainland or inland. As, uh, for people who are listening, basically I've picked a random Google image and showing you this, like looking at this picture, how would you go about figuring out where it is? So the two immediate things or my eye immediately goes to license plates. Um, so license plates is big or is a huge portion of the game where you have to learn what license plates are. Um, so like this one in particular, you can see um, we're looking at a garage here with a car parked and you can see there's a short license plate with somewhat of a, a colorful license plate. And you're gonna get those mainly in the US or Mexico, um, sometimes Australia, the Europe, European Union all uses like one blue strip left lined on their license plate. So we know we're not gonna be in Europe here. Now obviously with this architecture and the general feel, we have palm trees. We know we're gonna be somewhat, you know, coastal-ish desertish so um those are two main things and then if we if we were to pan we would probably see like a, a sign uh, on the right side of the road which would hint we're driving right rather than left so that would like eliminate it from australia versus u.s um immediately though it is kind of like you're feel like oh this feels like the u.s but if you really get like nitty-gritty into it um you could also we could use a compass and we could see that the sun is in the south here which means we're gonna be in the northern hemisphere so that also eliminates something like uh, Australia here. So there's a couple different, those were the, be the couple different techniques I would use to define this location. Holy fuck, dude. Like, I don't notice any of that. How about this one? Okay. So we're definitely, you know, in the US again. So this is, this is a different one because it's just, um, it looks pretty, this, you know, it looks pretty distinct. These pine trees in the background here though, are very common, like Oregon, Washington. Um, above this house right here. So like, and maybe Vancouver, BC area is where you're going to find mostly those trees. I would have gone maybe Northeast here if it wasn't for those trees, honestly, just to explain, I guess, maybe a thought process is that the US is one of the only countries that uses transformers on their telephone poles. So you'll see like on the top of the telephone pole in the distance here, um, in our North, like East, there's a transformer at the top of it. Um, and that's really just the US Canada that really uses those a couple other countries too but that's another like very small things like that you have to you have to pick up on in like wooden poles but I probably would have gone Oregon Washington here maybe BC um 
but probably more Oregon, Washington, just based off this this pine tree in the background, this tall pine tree. So in the game, are you, are you just trying to identify the city, the country, or are you even trying to narrow it down to like a street location? Yeah, so there's two types of ways to play. I am a country guesser, so um, I like going for speed and like going for the right country. So I would have just plonked. We like to call it plonk. We just guess in the middle of nowhere in like Kansas there, just because I'm speed running countries to where I don't have the time to like figure out the con- like what state. Oh, I'm just I guessing see. and I'm going to the next round and seeing how fast I can get many countries in a row rather than getting the exact um, location. There is people that will try and speed run getting that exact street in Washington, but I am honestly very bad at that portion of the game. There's people, I would not even put myself in top 100 there. Um, so top 200 really. Okay, so well, so this is what we like to call unofficial coverage. So it's just a photo rather than like street view. Um, oh, so it doesn't count. This is so it doesn't necessarily count. Um, but a couple of interesting things here. I recognize we can we can use this. Um, okay. I actually didn't see where it said Warsaw there, but we did see that the publisher had a Cyrillic name, so I almost said Russia. But then I looked above it, and I could see the name of the park was Lizinki Park, and that L in the first letter there. That is a Polish L, and that's actually only found in Poland, uh, in Polish. So if you see an L with a slash through it, that character is only distinct to Polish. It's not found in any other languages. Do you have a hard time watching TV or commercials because you're just constantly trying to figure out where things are? All the time. Dude, I'll be with, I can't consume any content anymore without, like, um, like I was watching, what, it was Borat. I was watching Borat the other day. And it was like supposed to be like what I think Kyrgyzstan or something like that or Kazakhstan somewhere in the stands. And there was a Romanian pole in the background. And I was like, like a Rom- Romanian telephone pole. I'm like this is supposed to be not in Romania. Um, so like there's different reasons, like things like that, where I'm like, right, come on, you know. Um, and then if like, I, if I'm just like scrolling through TikTok or Instagram or something, I'll be like, oh, okay, that's Greece. You know, it's very, I also get like all my DMs on Instagram are like, Where's this? Where's this? Where's this? So I'm constantly challenging myself or it's, it's always like a, like the car commercials. I love watching car commercials because it's like, what road in the US are they on? Where do they usually shoot most of those? Because they seem to use some of the same roads. I think a common trend is actually Norway. Uh, I see a lot in Norway. I think it's just because of how beautiful the mountains are um, or Switzerland. Um, there is a lot in like the Western US, I feel like as well. Like um, like Colorado, kind of in the in the, in the Rockies. 